Hello, this is John Kitsteiner again, and this is episode five of our life here at the farm. Today, I want to talk about the eastern red cedar tree. This is something I've mentioned a couple times in the previous episodes, and this right here is what I'm talking about. It's funny that this little tree can cause so many problems for farmers and ranchers alike, and wanted to kind of dive into it a little bit more. This tree, the eastern red cedar, uh, Juniperus virginiana, is native to the eastern U.S. And I'm going to talk about a couple of good things first. One of the things that they're most notable for, and I'm going to step up here a little bit, is all juniper trees, but especially Juniperus communis, which is the common juniper, has these little uh, blue berries, they call them. And what they are, they're actually modified cones, just like a pine cone. And these are used to flavor gin, as well as give a lot of other uh, juniper type flavor. But the Eastern Red Cedar has a very uh, rot resistant wood that's very fragrant. And the fragrance is used uh, in any of the cedar shavings or cedar uh, closet air freshener kind of things. And when this tree gets a little bit bigger, like these ones here, uh, and even a little larger, these uh, trunks can be used as posts for fences. Uh, again, because it's very rot resistant. And they can actually keep getting larger. If you look back here, they can become a, a pretty sizable tree. Now, the problem is, is because of all these little seeds, which birds will uh, drop and the, they'll fall off the tree as well and reseed. And if you look out over across the pastures here, they can easily take over a pasture. Now, the good thing is that they're not very fast growing but they are a pioneer species and they will uh, take over degraded land, which this property unfortunately right now has pretty compact and pretty degraded soils. And so any tree or any plant that even if it has good traits is in the wrong place at the wrong time, then we consider it a weed. And that's kind of what this tree is. It's not bad by itself, but it's not uh, performing the function that we would like uh, by shading out the, the uh, pasture for our, our ruminant species, our cattle, our sheep. Now, well, the other good thing about the eastern red cedar is that it doesn't coppice well, okay? Coppicing is where if you cut the tree off at the trunk, new tree growth will form. If you chop off an eastern red cedar down below its first stem, it will kill the plant. Now, the good thing about that is that when the plant is killed, underneath the soil. All that root soil, make sure the wind dies down here for a second, all the root structure that dies and starts to rot will create these nice carbon pathways for our soil life to really start to explode. And so we've got a lot of work here in, in front of us, uh, but it's going to be kind of fun, going to be tiring, but that's about it. Another update here in uh, Tennessee in Bulls Gap. I'll talk to you later.